Hey guys, how's it going? This is Karol Fle from Undisputed Marketer and if you're watching this video, you're probably doing some research on YouTube about jbzoo.com affiliate. So in this video, we're going to dive deep into this topic and we're going to actually have a look at the jbzoo.com homepage and how you can especially do affiliate marketing for your own. So let's dive into it. I'm on the jbzoo homepage and if you if you don't have your account yet, just go for start for free over here it's very very easy um registering um the only thing you need is basically your name email address password and which country you are from so i'm not going to go through this because i already have an account and i want to show you how it looks like from the inside so this is very self-explanatory and you can do this completely on your own so let me just log into my account and uh, for, for your records, just go ahead and create a JVZoo account for yourself. It's very easy as you already seen. So I'm going to log into my JVZoo account and I'm going to show you how it looks like from the inside. So here is basically your dashboard. Um, most important things which you want to see about your account are over here. Here are your sell, seller snapshots, your sales and so on. So obviously you can see it's zero, zero, zero on me. So it's very, very, very similar to what you will see when you will create your account. So the first thing that I want to show you is basically how to choose a product or where actually you can choose your product. So first of all, um, you can go ahead into affiliate dashboard and over here you will see already some products right and let me just see find products okay um we can actually go into find products sorry this is just um your affiliate dashboard which which means here you will see your product um however we want to find completely new product which we are going to promote right and so we're going into the actual basically the whole list of affiliate uh, products that JVZoo offers. Now, as you can see, it's uh, quite a lot of, lot of pages over here, quite a lot of products. And here is what we want to uh, have a look at. Now, as you can see, there are different filters over here and here you get the launch date, sold, conver conversion rate, average price, um, sorry commission refunds and so on and so on uh, epc should be uh average price for something like the average price for 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 click or estimated price for click which you don't really necessarily need to pay attention to it however what you want to uh, pay attention to in in these filters is first of all the refund rate this is the most important part guys because obviously the higher the refund rate the more refunds customers ask for a particular product and the higher the refund rate the worse it is product for for your purposes because obviously you want to you want to sell the product but you also want to keep the customers happy with the product otherwise they're going to refund and you're not going to keep your commissions right so this is very important guys so first of all look for the refunds and anything above like anything above 10 percent don't even pay attention to it uh, from my point of view and from my experience um, obviously the lower the better i try and uh, i try to keep myself uh, lower than five percent if it is something like this it's obviously something that i you know i pay to more attention to this and i do more research into it why is it so high obviously it is a quite old product and it's sold quite a lot of things quite a lot of products so might be the case of it but otherwise i i try to keep myself under five percent and maybe between three to four percent is like okay now that's for the refunds now the other thing that you want to look for is the sold units now this basically tells you how high selling or low selling the, the actual product is how many people it's and it's not like something in clickbank where you you can see only you know the the statistic of how many people are selling this product but here you can actually see the sold volume which means how many units of this product have been sold over the past time so here you can see there are 37 
37,500 units and plus sold uh, during the time being and the whole funnel sold 116,000 uh, units. Now, if you don't know what funnel is, don't worry about it. We're going to have a look at it uh, just in a second. So don't worry about this. Now, the other filter that I really like to pay attention to is a launch date. Now, the launch date basically tells you whether the product is completely brand new on the, on the market, nobody knows about it, or it's a well-established product on the market. Now, obviously, you can see this, this product, particular video maker FX, has been on the market since 2014. So it's obviously a well-established product with lots and lots of sales and the refund rate is quite okay. So this might be a good, good fit for you as well if you are into video creation software, obviously, right? So this product is obviously probably some something doing with, uh, you know, um, creating your videos if, if you are a YouTuber or if your audience are YouTubers or, you know, somebody who creates videos, then it might be a good fit for you. Otherwise, just look for, look uh, on the other ones. Now, so this is basically for, for the filters. That's, that's pretty much it. I wouldn't really pay too much attention to the conversions because that really... Um, that really depends on the traffic you you send to it. You you the you might have you know conversion rate of way higher than this. However, you can even have way less than this, depending purely on the on the traffic that you send to on the audience. If you send you know people who are interested in lose weight, and if you send traffic this kind of traffic to a video creation software, obviously your conversions will be way way low all right this is the average price which is good uh, to, to have a look at at least you, you know ha have to have at least like a bright idea of what to expect however we're going to regarding the price we're going to have a look more into the funnel itself so don't worry about this that much conversion uh, commissions are great asset to, to have a look most of the products on jvz will have 50 percent commission which is great so uh you can just you know confirm this over here now the second part is basically with JVZU, you, you, you always need to ask for or request for approval to sell the specific product. Now, this is a little bit different to, for example, ClickBank. If you have any experience with ClickBank, you know that you don't need anything like this. With JVZU, you do need to request an approval for selling or promoting any of these products. Now, now the... Uh, the the approval is that doesn't really mean it's uh, something you know difficult or anything like this. The only thing you need to do is send a message to the product owner. So we're going to just open this first first product on a new tab. So let me just open it in a new tab, and we're going to actually see what it looks like. Um, so here is you can see request permission. So Fill out the following form to request permission to promote this product. So basically here you should explain to the product owner, which is uh, probably Peter Rosak, how you intend to promote and sell this product, what are the strategies you want to use for, and basically why do you want to sell this product. Very easy uh, and very simple in its concept. Now. Um, some of the products, especially if you are a new promoter, new affiliate marketer on JVZ, some of the products you will get, uh, you will not get the permission to sell the products just because you don't have any history on JVZ. Now, don't don't get you know scared of it or don't get you know disturbed from this because there are just loads and loads of products and you can do very well with all of them. So, if some products will you will not get the permission. Don't worry about it, just go for another product. However, if you do really want to sell a specific product and you want to make sure that you will get um, you will get this permission, then what I highly suggest you is to basically um, in this in this in this place where you request the permission where you write something for to the to the product owner, what you might do is record yourself on a video, a very short video, it might be two, three, four minute video, and you explain uh, directly to Peter Rosak how you want to implement or how you want to promote this product to your audience. 
tell him that you have uh, the perfect audience um, they are interested in this and this you want you are going to use these and these strategies in your promotion and ask him to approve you and give you the permission um, i have found out that uh, this method the video recording to the product owner really really works and it just you know it really makes difference and Basically, the, the only thing you need to do is record the video, upload it to YouTube and send him over here the link to the YouTube video. And that's it. Very easy. So this is basically how you how you get a product to promote. Now, the second part is basically important over here. We are still staying over here. Now, what you want to do is actually see what the product is all about. Now, um, we can actually go on to view sales page, which is very important, guys. So just click over here. And this is basically the, um, the page where the customers will land on. And this is the page where which basically sells. So what you want to do over here is have a look at it. If it is the right fit for your audience, for your promotion, for your business, if it is something that you want to really promote and you have the right audience for, look for some kind of red flags like, you know, over promising or, you know, some kind of like an overnight success or whatever it is, you know, earn one million in one week without any work. Some, some kind of like this, you know, which obviously, you know, it's not possible. And uh, if you find some, something like this, then just go go into another product, a different product, because you don't want to be part of this because obviously they are just over promising and usually they want, you know, just a quick buck from you. So just go through this, have a look at, you know, at the product, if it is something you want to go for. Um, and that's it. Basically, this is literally the page where the clients will land on. And this is the page where which is going to do the, the all, all, all the selling. Right now, if you if you hand, went through this page and you you basically came up with the uh, with the ending that it is the product you want to pro then what you want to do is go over here and have a look at these these kind of things first of all you got the sales price you got the commission so basically the sale price is twenty seven dollars and you get fifty percent commission which makes it around thirteen point fifty U S dollars. Uh, per sale that's your direct commission now here is something which i love and uh, especially on jvzoo is just amazing is the sales funnel now the product is part of a sales funnel which includes up to three other products now if you just scroll uh, over over here um, and, and you click on it you can see actually what kind of products they are offering now the sales page uh, sorry sales funnel what it does is that once you you make the sale, the customer buys this product. The, these guys, the product owners, are going to promote and offer them some kind of like an upgrade to the product they already bought. These are like some kind of you know additional products or upgrades or whatever else it is, right? And if this client buys some of these additional products you are going to make a commission as well from these products so as you can see um you are promoting the 27 dollar product and here are one two three four other yeah four other or oh, sorry maybe three other products that you can possibly sell as well and get commission from now uh, three products or four products is not that bad, to be honest. It's uh, quite okay. However, you can see that the average price of these products is not that huge. You want something that is, you know, obviously the starting point is a little bit low, which with this product is great. And uh, uh, this, the starting price should be under fifty dollars. That's like that's the that's the best best part. And uh, usually they can be, you know, twenty dollars. Even some products have less than ten dollars, which is uh, very easy for the for the customer to buy and get into it. And then gradually they will offer them products that are of higher price and they are basically higher value. So this is what you want to have in your sales funnel. Now, obviously, you can see that here we don't see anything like that 
in fact, what we can see are products that are actually lower priced, at least this one, oh, sorry, this one is lower priced than our product. Otherwise, they are 30, 37, 49, so kind of like the same, you know? So um, I personally wouldn't go for this product, even though it might be a great product. I would look for something that has a great funnel. Now, if you want, you can actually check just over here and you don't need to you know, open all of that. Here you can see it, this product has quite a lot of funnels. However, we can see the refund rate is 6.4, so I wouldn't go for this. Let's have a look at this one. This has 3.62, which is great. Uh, let's have a funnel, okay. So let's just open this one. Easy Sketch Pro Business. And guys, I'm just opening these products like literally randomly. So um, I, I don't really know anything about these products, to be honest. So uh, what else is here? Okay, so here we have sales funnel. They got nine products, which is amazing. And the sales price is 67, which is a little bit higher price point, but we can still work with this. It's not that bad. And here you can see some other products again. Here you have the pro version which is sorry which is almost 97 dollars which is good so you want to have at least one product like this which is a higher valued however if they have so many products like this even if they are lower price than your first product then it's still okay because they they can add up you know all together and you can do quite good uh, money from it as well now you can see the commission is uh, uh, different uh, you got 50% on, on over here and 20% over here. So just pay attention to this and choose one that is, you know, the perfect for you. Like the, literally the ideal one is a product that has a sales price of around 20, 30, 40, even $50. And then the sales funnel offers products that are higher priced, which means if we are starting at 50, then the next product should be around, I don't know, maybe $80, $100, $150, $200, and so on and so on. But, however, you can still work with also with other products. Now, uh, we've gone through the sales funnel, we've gone through the sales page, and now you might possibly ask that, okay, Carol, um, I've, got, I've found my product, I've went through the sales funnel, I see that the sales page is completely fine, and I've already made a sale how is jvzoo gonna pay me and now that's a great question because jvzoo um pays you through um different ways and let me just have a look where is it payment profiles and jvzoo offers an option for as well with with pay with paypal which is just amazing you know you can just have your your money directed to your pay PayPal account. They do have also, uh, I think they do have uh, also the direct uh, payment to your bank, bank account and they offer also a Payoneer. If you don't know what Payoneer is, it's basically a third party way how to get your money to, um, to your bank account from third party marketplaces like JVZoo and others. And um, most of them are a little bit of, you know, for people that, do not have PayPal, for example, or just prefer something else. So here are all the ways you can get get paid. Here is the JVZU Pay. Basically, collect your affiliate commission and place them in your JVZU Pay account, and they you can secure account to your Payoneer account. Again, Payoneer, that's great. Blue Snap. I don't really know what's a Blue Snap. No setup fees. Increase sales with. Uh, uh, full sub or accept all major credit cards again so it's basically a third party way how to get your money from paypal is over here we all know paypal it's just amazing you just log in with your with your email and so and so on so this is great guys so this is the ways how you can get paid from jvzoo now just go through these options and have a look which one suits you better i personally use paypal because it just you know it's PayPal. We all like PayPal. We all, we all love PayPal, and that's it basically. Um, so, so this is it, guys, for today's video. Um, this is for the JVZoo. So, so I just wanted to, you know, uh, let you know, and um, I wanted to show you exactly what JVZoo.com affiliate marketing is all about. 
you can clearly see we've gone through the products we've gone through the the platform itself and also the payments methods and so on and so on and you know if you are interested in ways how to promote this product because you know obviously if you are going to promote the affiliate products you gotta think about how you are going to promote them are you just going to you know spam all over the place your affiliate links or are you going to you know give some value to people be different than everybody else be head and shoulders above the rest if you want something like this then you gotta implement the great the good strategy into your into your affiliate marketing and you know obviously um it's quite quite a topic of its own and unfortunately we don't really have that much time in this video however if you want uh, i have another video that really spe uh, is specified about how to promote jvz products you can have a look at it in my channel and if you are in interested in how to promote affiliate marketing if you are interested in affiliate marketing and if you want to learn more about affiliate marketing how to promote the products how to really use strategies that set you head and shoulders above the rest then i highly recommend you to click the link in the description is the first link in the description and you will get full access to my four day free video series where i talk each day something new about affiliate marketing and you will learn what is affiliate marketing how to promote products from affiliate marketing and how to really create a long-term business from affiliate marketing so this is it guys i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you soon bye guys